My chicken up, whipping up, dropping off, then picking up. Young Thug and Friends are here to deliver basically a compilation album. Super ultra deluxe, you know, meat special. I'm not really keen on albums from YSL that's like 20 plus tracks, you know, so I doubt I'm gonna listen to the whole thing. I'm gonna pick some tracks that kind of, you know, look like they might be you know into something ramadan couldn't have come at a worse time for you muslim niggas i'm sorry i know i know it's not a good time for you right now Allah may have to make an exception nobody's eating for like three four months in terms of music for the most part when an album like this drop that look kind of juicy you can't listen to it because god told you no for this month i don't know i have no expectation with this record with this project I'm not trying to play every song. If I do play most of the tracks, it probably won't all be in this video, but we gonna see what the best of the best has to offer from Young Thug and and, and the Bay Bay Kids. Uh, Slatty with Yak Gotti and Lil Duke. I don't expect anything from niggas named Yak Gotti and Lil Duke. No disrespect. It's not off to a good start. He kind of eating. I ain't gonna lie. He kind of, he kind of running that. Did he say nut on my bottom like Roddy Richie? That's not what he said. I'm not going back to play it. I think I'm gonna just go to the track with Drake and turn the album off. Diamond dancing with Travis Scott. We gotta hear it. Jesus Christ. You know what? I might have to say it. As a rapper, I've been more entertained the last five years. I want to say I've been more entertained from. I shouldn't say it. I, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna say. It. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to disrespect you. I think I like Gun as well. Pro no, I still like Young Thug the most on that. But Gun is surprisingly ate on that track, and uh, Travis Scott did his thing. You know, as far as content and even flow to me, Travis is cool. But in comparison to Thug, it's just the personality is just so different. Thug just steals the show. I was scrolling through the track list and I hilariously saw Koi Ray on here and I just got offended. Like, cause she, her music be so trash. Like, how you ass with no ass? That's crazy. Body shaming. Them. I might stand a little correct here. Never mind. It's trash. It's trash. I just wanted to get it out of the way so I wouldn't be surprised. You know, listening to albums out of order is surprisingly far more enjoyable. Oh, we got Skepto on the track. Let's get it. How did I know? Now, I'm hearing Strick on this right now, but I really, after hearing him, would have preferred 21 Savage. I like Tony. I like Mitch. Rest my voice to the tempo. I get all the semen on the seat. Bro, I skipped through the verse. The first thing this nigga skipped to talk about is semen. Why? There has to be some justification around. There was no context. It, you, you, were, you said that unprovoked. It wasn't even a bar leading into something great. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you had sex on the plane. Bro, don't ever do that again. Ruin a whole track with one line. No, not sauce. You mean semen. I look photogenic. Yeah, because you come in on seats. I will never look at Skepta the same after that verse. Yo, it's a lot of tracks on here, man. What's the Drake cut sounding like? Solid? Let's go. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Hey. hey. Find me somewhere out in London, you know that's the hideaway. Walking from here to my bedroom, and feel like it's miles away. Oh, that bar is hard, man. That's a flex. It's a flex. It's a flex. Oh man, this Drake, this like low, sultry kind of talk, like this voice, it's almost like he's uh somebody like really rubbed his throat. I know this don't really sound right, but I have no really other way to describe it. Like somebody put their hands on Drake's throat and caressed it and just made it more smooth. He sounds laid back, okay? That's that's all I'm trying to say. Oh, that hook is great, too. And these drums are amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that bass just now was so loud. I thought somebody was knocking at my door. Is this a wheezy beat? Because this sound... I like the evolution of that beat. You know, it really uh, transitions from, like, this smoother more laid back cut with these really intense but really smooth drums picks up a little speed as these synths that just like flash by really quick just pick just adds a little bit more momentum to this song really enjoyed the drake feature um i think was gonna on that track i don't remember let's see what superstar with future is looking like ew what the fuck 
Are you serious? That shit is trash. What is that beat? Is that a future's voice? That is the ugliest. That is one of the ugliest beats I've ever heard in my life. What the fuck? Hold up. <laughs> Bro. How would you why would you start up that flute or whatever the fuck that instrument is? Why would you start that up and then play it back? Like you did a three peat before it dropped. Like that shit was just hard, knowing it was trash. He was really telling us something when he was like Molly Percocet. Cause like you, I, you gotta be off something to sing like. It's almost like he was trying to sing like the weekend or something. Like at the end of his, uh, at the end of the note or whatever, you can just tell like there's this elegance that he tried to dash on it. I might take his vinyl down for that. That was a crazy feature. Bro, Koi LeRae's song was better than that. I thought that was gonna be the worst of the album and it wasn't. Everybody wanna be a superstar. Go check on your kids, bro. Lil Duke and Nav, uh, no. <laughs> it's called Pots and Pants. <laughs> Hold up. Nav, I need Nav to come in and save the rap game. Oh my God, I thought that was French Montana for a second. I was about to say, I feel very violated. Like they tricked me into bobbing to his music. That's almost like assault. I did not consent to French Montana. Lil Duke don't sound low. He sound kind of old. Bro, where is Nav? Wait a minute, hold up. I can't spit. I, I I tried to skip past it, but then I thought about it, and it just disgusted me. The thought of Nav going raw in anybody. Nah, I can't. Uh, I can't continue the song now. Oh, I get it. That's why it's called Possum. That song is hard. That song is hard. That's going on there, bro. That's going on there. So let let me let me just say right now, Slatty's going on there. Ski is trash in my opinion. Diamonds dancing. I probably will listen to again, but it's not my favorite. Uh, the track with Drake, honestly, solid, very very solid. Pots and pans. We're gonna skip past uh, that rock star shit with Skepta. He talking about coming on people. Superstar is a super miss. Came out of what? Bro, what is this beat? Bro, what are y'all doing with these beats, bro? Stop. Y'all tripping. What is these, like, fucking WB kids ass beats, man? Carly and Young Blue. Nope. What wave? I'm so confused. Who wants to sound like this? All right, Moon Man with Kid Cudi and Strick again. Where's Cudi? Yeah, that's that's good. That's good, man. He's the only one I needed for that track. They both could have stayed off. Why would you even try to get on a track like that and you have Kid Cudi? Why wouldn't you just have him do his own song? All right, let's hear the one with uh, Lil Uzi and then we gonna call it a day. This might've been a huge mistake. Never mind. I'm proud of you. Okay, I was about to start singing along and you changed it. Man, I'm proud of you. That is, that's a great hook. That's an amazing hook. See, that's the personality from Uzi that I was missing on that collab joint he did with Future. Like, that has his personality. It's kind of nice. It's just kind of happy, carefree. Like, that's where he sounds best to me right now. And that was a good song. I love the hook on that, too, by the way. Verses are kind of hit or miss, but the hook on that was great. What the fuck were y'all smoking when you made some of these? Like, Future really needs to apologize for what he did on Superstar. Because that, that, I don't know. Like, that was easily the worst track on here. I think I got what I needed from this album. Uh, You know, some tracks that I wanted to take, you know, just to have a little bit of a time to sprinkle on my day i wasn't really looking to really sit with this or get super deep with it or anything like that it's a it's pretty much a compilation tape it is what it is i didn't listen to the whole thing i mean i did technically but you're not gonna see all of it and my thoughts are generally just it's hit or miss like if, if you know young thug and you know why it's so releases and you know you don't like all of them you probably shouldn't expect to like this entire thing but if you have some of your key figures like Drake, like Future, well, maybe not Future in this instance. Um, you don't mind Lil' Keed, uh, you don't mind listening to Gunna, Travis, you know, a couple others and stuff like that. If you like those dudes, there are some moments where they really pull through on here, but for the most part, it's it's like uh like it's like an attendance award, like a like a like a like a participation trophy. Everybody has to show up, but they don't necessarily have to perform. Or maybe they were told, uh, you know, uh th this is a this is a pop quiz and there are no wrong answers. I wasn't really looking for anything crazy with this album but it did give me some some good tracks you know so that i'll take with me but for the most part i mean i i generally don't expect much from you know stuff like this we're gonna listen to the conway album next but i don't think i'll have a video for it so i probably just shouldn't have said nothing just now i should just kept my mouth shut until next time i'll see y'all thank you for watching and i'll i just said i'll see y'all